Naš današnji gost je ambasador Sjedinjenih američkih država, Anthony Godfrey. Welcome, Mr. Godfrey. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, you have been in Serbia for a while. How do you uh, evaluate the state of civil liberties, media freedom and democracy in Serbia? And is it better or worse what, uh, than what you heard, what you were prepared for? I've been in Serbia for about five weeks now, and uh, this is my first trip to the city of Niš, and I'm very happy to be here. Uh, the situation with regard to media in, in Serbia is is challenging, uh, and I think that uh, I uh, agree with my predecessor and with the evaluations of my colleagues at the embassy that there's much more work to do. Uh, the uh, media in Serbia uh, very often feels under pressure. Uh, there is a greater incidence of self-censorship uh, than there should be and uh, I think uh, threats against journalists which have taken place uh, are something uh, that is really constricting uh, the ability of uh, journalists to do their profession. Journalism uh, and journalists play an extraordinary role in any free society. In the United States, we like to think of uh, journalists as, as the fourth estate. Uh, they're like the fourth branch of government and they play a very important role in the development uh, of our society. But I don't want to say that the, the situation is hopeless or uh, that it's bleak uh, because I've had a great opportunity uh, to meet some wonderful journalists, uh, some young people who are interested in, in the profession, and I'm very happy to be here. Uh, and uh, I think that Yuzhny Vesti is, is a place where you can find uh, these young people who are we're giving so much hope to this profession. It's very important. Uh, you are in the same city where the Russian Serbian Humanitarian Center is placed. Uh, how do you see a Russian impact on Balkan, on Balkan and Serbia? And are you ready to compete with that impact and by what? So uh, I would much rather have a positive uh, message than a negative message. I don't want to say what I'm against or what my embassy or my government is against. I'd rather say what my uh, government is for, what the United States hopes to achieve here. It is U.S. policy that uh, we seek to have a Western Balkans where uh, the countries are prosperous, uh, where they're stable, uh, where they respect democratic values, and where uh, neighbors respect each other's borders and have good re relations with each other. It's America's view uh, that the best way for us, us, the United States, to achieve our goal is to help Serbia achieve its goal, and that is Serbia's goal of membership in the European Union. We think uh, that anything that we can do, the United States can do, to help Serbia achieve this goal uh, would be good for America, so that's why uh, we're working in that direction. I would caution against uh, having uh, negative messages, but uh, we really have to uh, focus on what it is uh, that other countries want to achieve. Uh, the United States uh, does not resent Serbia's strong relationship with Russia. Uh, there are cultural ties, historic ties, e even uh, ties related to religion that are important for Serbia. Uh, we don't resent that at all. And relations with China are important as well. But uh, to look at Serbia's future, where Serbia wants to go, uh, in my view and in the view of most of the economists I've spoken with, uh, the future for Serbia lies in Europe. Uh, except these uh, big uh, geopolitical topics, uh, what can USA do to help society in Serbia? and improve your image? Well, I'm not as concerned about improving my image as we are about uh, image achieving... Image of the United uh, States. Uh, I, I think the United States uh, image uh, is strong. I think uh, we are very fortunate that for most of the long history of U.S.-Serbia relationships, uh, of U.S.-Serbia relations, uh, our relationships uh, have been very strong, very positive, and uh, except for a brief period, uh, the times where we've worked together is when both of our countries have succeeded best. 
So, uh, as I said before, uh, I'm uh, looking forward. It's my goal to do my best uh, to improve our bi bilateral relations. Uh, I think they're already good, but I know they can be better. Yeah, a hospital in Ish is a good example for, for that. Uh... Well, I can tell you, uh, uh, I was so impressed that it, by the people uh, who are working there. Yes, uh, the donation of equipment from uh, the U.S. is important, but uh, much more impressive are the, the bright, dedicated, uh, and caring people who are working in that hospital. Uh, I was really impressed, and uh, the work that they're doing uh, with high scientific equipment, uh, with great uh, practices, and with open sharing of information with their colleagues uh, abroad, uh, it was very impressive. Uh, and they have uh, really lofty goals, and uh, I hope that we can continue to help uh, those very, very successful people improve the lives of people who live in southern Serbia. You came to be ambassador in turbulent political times. Election year is coming, but uh, Serbian opposition planning to boycott election. Pro-Western opposition uh, expect you to be a moderated, moderator in negotiation. Uh, how do you see role in this process? So, uh, it isn't the role of the international community uh, to uh, play uh, uh, to, to work as a political actor in Serbia. That's, uh, in fact, inappropriate for uh, an American ambassador or a, or a foreign embassy uh, to play that role. That's the role of uh, politicians themselves. And that's why it's, it's our view that uh, people with differing views should take part in the process. Uh, it's my view that uh, boycotting an election it deprives many voters uh, of a chance to express their view. And I don't think that's fair and I don't think it's productive. Uh, I would rather that people have an opportunity uh, to express their views freely, uh, including through access to the broadcast media, uh, to uh, make their case for what their goals would be for Serbia directly to the voters and have the voters make their own educated decision. Yeah, but conditions for election are not good. So uh, we are concerned about the environment in which elections will take place. And we've expressed those views to the government of Serbia and to the authorities who uh, have the ability to change that environment. We are working closely with the OSCE mission here and we expect that uh, the Office of Democratic Institutions and Human Rights will uh, send uh, an election observation mission as soon as the elections are announced. Uh, it is uh, my expectation that they will be critical of the pre-election environment. And uh, it's my view that if a government wants to be perceived as legitimate, uh, it should ensure that the election which brings it to power is uh, a fair one and uh, the more legitimacy uh, a government has the more authority it has that's my view and uh, last question the usa has named two mediators for serbia and the problem of kosovo and is that american uh, american uh, geopolitical return to this area do you expect a new date on a new uh, signing agreement for example in white house well, it's our hope uh, that there will be an agreement between Pristina and Belgrade. I think that there is a real opportunity for that. And President Trump thinks there is too. So he named Richard Grinnell, our ambassador in Berlin, as a spe special negotiator for, uh, for that. Uh, uh, Mr. Palmer. And uh, Mr. Grinnell is, is focused very much on that. He's trying to, using uh, private sector in incentives uh, to find a way forward. Matthew Palmer is the Special Envoy of the Secretary of State for the entire Western Balkans, and there's nobody who knows uh, the history, uh, uh, the, uh, the challenges, uh, and the different political streams uh, in the Western Balkans, uh, across the Western Balkans, uh, better than he does in, in the U.S. government. 
So in these two uh, very different uh, but very active people, uh, we demonstrate, we the United States demonstrate, that we care about the outcomes here. We hope that uh, with our energy contributing to uh, the work that is already being done by the European Union uh, and other organizations, that uh, we'll be able to get more results for the people here. Because again, our goal is to have long-lasting stability, prosperity, uh, here in the Western Balkans. And do you expect to sign an agreement uh, before American election? So, uh, Ambassador Grinnell and uh, uh, my friend Matt Palmer uh, are both uh, hopeful uh, that there will be some sort of agreement, uh, but uh, it's really up to the parties. It's not up to us, it's to, up to the people here. Any agreement that is going to succeed and is going to be long-lasting has to be organic uh, to this area. Uh, it has to be owned by uh, the people who are living here and who will be governed by that agreement. Thank you, Mr. Godfrey. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Bilo skraćeno izdanje emisije 15 minuta. Moje ime je Milan Zirović.